Hai. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good afternoon to Encik Hafiz. Today we will uh, present to you uh, about the variable buff timing and leaf electronic control system VTEC. Is my team member which is uh, Elson, Jimmy, Loh, I, Amirul and Navin. For the first presentation, I'm going to present about the introduction and history of the VTEC. VTEC is variable buff timing and leaf electronic control in the system of del delivered by the Honda to improve the volumetric efficiency of the four stroke internal combustion engine, resulting the higher performance at the higher RPM and the lower fuel consumption at the lower RPM. The founder of this technology is the Honda engineer Iqua Kajitani in the project of new engine concept 1984. The first model, which is a Dodge VTEC engine system in the Japan in the 1989, using in the Honda Integra XI, 160 horsepower B16A engine. The variant of the VTEC, which is a VTEC Dodge Sosh, VTEC E, three stage VTEC, I VTEC, A VTEC, and VTEC Turbo. Next, I will pass this presentation to the Jimmy. Okay, thank you, Miro. Hi, my name is Jimmy. I'm going to explain the theory of operation on how VTEC can improve the engine operation. VTEC consists of three rocker arm, which is primary rocker arm, secondary rocker arm, and mid rocker arm. Primary and secondary rocker, rocker arm um, works along with the small cam lobe. Meanwhile, the mid rocker arm uh, works along with the large cam lobe. Um, VTEC is well known for its fuel efficient yet high performance. And during low speed operation, it works using um, small cam lobe. And during high speed operation, it works using the large cam lobe. And the main component that um, involved in this operation is hydro piston and loss motion spring, which um, operate all together, all, all the cam lobe, um, the rock arm, but all together using the piston um, exchange transition. That's all from me. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Jimmy. And hi, my name is Lord Pei. So today I will going to present the system or technology diagram. So uh, firstly, I will explain how the VTEC system will operation in low RPM and in high RPM. So we can see in the first diagram. So in low RPM for good fuel economy and smooth operation, both work follow the smaller chain shaft loops. While in the high RPM, for higher engine power output, the valve will follow the larger center chain shaft loop. Variable valve timing or VVT is the next step in engine evolution. By adding multiple valve per cylinder certainly make a difference, but efficient valve timing is tied to a specific engine speed. Manufacturers usually guide how the engine will be used and will then turn the valve timing to that speed. For instance, a certain would probably run the most efficiently at medium engine speed, while for a sport car might run more efficiently, will might run more efficiently at higher RPM. So the VVT will allow the best of both work by adjusting the champ to match the engine revolution. And secondly, I will going to explain how the VVT will help increase the efficient efficiency. Usually during the four stroke of engine combustion, the exhaust and intake valve open one after the other without any overlap. We can see this in the second diagram, normal valve timing graph. As the engine speed increase, there is less time for exhaust, exhaust and intake air to enter and leave the cylinder since the valve is not open as long. Here is where VVT can help. The timing can be changed to close the exhaust valve later and open the intake valve early. The valve will actually be open at the same time creating by creating an overlap. So we can see this in the last graph, last graph 
we can see the exhaust valve and the inlet valve got overlap. Some models also adjust the height that the valve opens, giving more area for the air to flow in and out of the cylinder. So the faster the engine runs, the more overlap is, is desired to increase the efficiency of the engine system. So next, I will pass to my member, Nawin, to present. Thank you, Lo. Uh, my name is Nawin. I'm going to present about the advantages and disadvantages of the system VTEC. Okay, the advantages are the VTEC engines are really very re reliable, offer enhanced fuel economy and more power at high revs. When VTEC is engaged, the engine node also changes for the better. The more advantages are, firstly, reduce 10% of the fuel consumption, reduce emission, 10% carbon dioxide, 60% nitrous oxide, and 60% particulate. And the third, increase lower and top by 15%. And the fourth, increase fuel economy by 7 to 10%. And the final is the lesser pumping losses reduce friction due to lesser moving components since SOHC works like DOHC. Okay, the disadvantage of the VTEC is that it's engaged from on average 5,000 to 6,000 RPM. The area of the ref range that driver, drivers explore rarely. So what I got is disadvantages are firstly opening and closing valves require some power. Second, current solenoids cannot run at high RPMs. And the third, high cost of microprocessor and software controls. And the fourth, not perfectly com compatible with variable cam phasing. And the final is mechanism quite bulky such that difficult to apply to DOHC engines. Thank you. I pass to my member, Elston. Okay, thank you, Navin. Okay. Uh... My name is Elston and I'll be uh, wrapping, wrap up this uh, presentation. So uh, what we have learned in this video is that uh, we have learned uh, the basic system of the uh, VTEC system. So as uh, previously mentioned in the introduction, some of the uh, example of the variant of the VTEC, we have the IVTEC, which basically uh, uh, controls the, uh, the valve timing through the cam lobes and uh, through the pulley. Uh, and then for the VTEC Turbo, uh, it has a turbo setup, but a VTEC, uh, a VTEC system on the exhaust side only. So um, should this uh, system, should this VTEC system should be improved? Uh, in my opinion, yes, it should be improved uh, uh, because uh, it has a lot of potential to create uh, a more higher efficient uh, engines in the future. Although uh, we know we know that the uh, electric cars such as Tesla are also emerging uh, in the market nowadays, but I still think that uh, internal combustion engine still have uh, a future for for uh, higher uh, reli reliability and uh, efficiency. So that's all from us. Thank you. Thank you.